we have built at uh, Kakebe Technologies and in like an innovation center in Lira because we believe so much in innovations and creating new things. And uh, we decided to use the name Kakebe because it's local. Anyone can understand around the country. It's a game we used to play when we were little kids. So uh, Kakebe has a vision of building great technologies to improve livelihood and standards of living of people within the regions. So um, I would talk briefly about some of the key projects that we are currently working on as Kakebe. When you go to villages, you know, up country in the north, you find that a lot of mothers have complications that arises to their health, you know, not well monitored during pregnancy. Case in point, uh, my cousin brother lost, you know, a baby, you know, two, uh, two days, two, three days before the baby was born. That as well inspired me and my team. We were like, guys, let's do something. Let's, do, let's create something to help. So we decided to come with Precare. Precare is a pregnant mother monitoring device that tracks your health details, like the temperature, the heartbeat, the GPS, uh, the pressure. It's like a watch, like a, basically like a smartwatch. You find that a lot of mothers have complications that arises to their health, you know, not well monitored during pregnancy. And when you wear this device, it keeps picking all the health values and relays them to the doctor in real time. In the sense that the doctor can view and map every mother's in his locality. Like let's say Lira City, you can map every single mom. And in case there's a complication, let's say your temperature rises beyond normal, the doctor gets a notification, like a trigger. And then also a mother gets a notification back to her, be it she's using a smartphone or this you know, button phones that just came a long time ago. She can still use the, the, the device. And we needed to add value to it because you find that these mothers are in the villages, they don't have smartwatches, they don't have internet access, they don't have a lot of technology. But the technology we're building for them and we have tried and just working, doesn't need them to have all these necessary things like internet and stuff. They just need to have a device. Besides uh, Precare, we have what you call Monia Streams. It's a music streaming platform. And so we have the app running where you can download and listen to the local music, the local content. And we're trying to see how can we hide monetary value to see that these people who sing these songs benefits. So when lockdown started, we, we thought of Right now, people can't go to markets. People can't, you know, shop. How can people, how can we make this easier? Like, let's build an online platform. We have one in Uganda, but it is not in every corner of the country. And our region being a region which is far away from the central, such services are not there. So we decided to build Kakebe Shop Online. This is a platform where you pick your smartphone, download the app, order for anything, and people will deliver. And then another project that we've worked on is called Soila. When COVID happened, uh, so many of the agricultural extension, extension workers were not able to access farmers uh, wherever they were located. And so this made a challenge in a way that farmers in the first place don't know the type of soil that they have in their garden. And secondly, they don't know the right crops to plant on a particular uh, soil type. And so we happened to develop a mobile application that works offline completely in any area of Uganda that a farmer is able to use uh, and take images of soil samples in their garden and the app tells them the type of soil and uh, what type of crops they can plant on a particular type of soil. And this not only saves them the money they would waste in terms of making losses by planting the wrong type of crop, but also improves on their income. Let's say uh, the app itself being able to tell them that, you know what, last season you planted this particular type of crop, try again this other one this season because it can perform better. When we started the four of us, first of all, we had an office where if four of us sit on the chairs, we'd fill the office off. I mean, no other client can come. If a client has to come, one person has to move out. But um, for the last six months, we have about 30 people who are engaged in programming. And then we've created our virtual jobs for 150 young people. And the business we have started has impacted hundreds of young people. Finance was a challenge. As being young people, you know, fresh graduates, you're still even at school, this aspect of management, without experience, you've already put yourself on the spotlight, there's that management challenge. Our system was hacked for two weeks last year, and uh, we, 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 our, our traction, our, you know, the, the graphs of orders and all stuff, 
went flat for about a month. So, and then we also had to learn how can we now make things more robust in a way that people cannot tamper with. We had no money to even host our system. We hosted on a free platform. We were using WordPress, which is more of a common thing people use. And then we had only 2 GB online storage. So when we had 10 clients, 10 vendors who just had uploaded their products, that was done. We needed to pay around 500,000, and we didn't have that money. Last year when I heard about the innovation call by the Ministry of Science and Technology in Innovations, I applied. Uh, we applied as a company, we were like, guys, we need this. We received about uh, 70 to 80 million Ugandan shilling. That gave us a very huge step. Our vision is in the next five years. We would love to have this innovation center in Lira. First of its kind in Northern Uganda. Because we have seen the interest that these young people have. You know, we come for competitions in Kampala, we win them. We have seen in the, in the, the EVs, cars that are coming up. And, you know, we have Kakebe coming up with one, two. Going for that exposure in the Dubai Expo will create a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of brilliant minds in Uganda. I met a kid who is 13, he built a, like a truck, you know, like this, you know, excavators and stuff. So we brought him to office. And these are the things that if we identify them and bring these people on the light, they can do great and make the nation move. Seize your moments.